Hi, Gina. Congratulations on the new season. Thank you. It's exciting. Last year, it was like um, we were all kind of like rabbits in headlights because we couldn't quite believe our luck that it had, um, that had come back. And this year, it just feels like a real celebration of, you know, what we've achieved. It's very exciting. Yeah, yeah. I, g- I got to watch a few of the episodes and they were really fun. Um, it strikes me that this show in particular, I mean, I'm sure working on all TV shows is fun, but the, but this show in particular, because you're doing all these crazy things and these costume changes all the time, must be a really, really a fun one to work on. So what would, what for you was one of the your favorite scenes to shoot and why? Well, I really, I, I love the fact that I get to play a character that has, you know, two sides to her personality. She gets to be kind of really kind of um, sophisticated and very, very savvy, but also she gets to be a total kind of kook, kooky kind of goofball as well. Um, and I don't think it's a secret to anyone that I really enjoy doing the kind of kooky goofball stuff the most. And there's a there's a particular episode that I love that's called the work study job, I think. Uh, where I get to play a science a science professor, and I make I made I brought in all these elements of other kind of con characters I've done in past seasons, and I kind of formed I sort of molded her out of like different um, elements from other characters I played on the show, and that's going to be a fun one I think for the fans to watch because the the really kind of dedicated kind of Easter egg hunters will be able to <laughs> kind of like trace it back. Um, but it's quite an emotional arc for Sophie this season. Uh, she has to confront people from her past. There's, there's going to be a British invasion of a lot of um, British actors um, coming into the show and wanting their kind of pound of flesh from Sophie. Um, and that makes the rest of the team kind of vulnerable. And so there's all those aspects that, you know, leverage is always played with, you know, putting the team at risk. And um, we've got lots of, stunts and explosions and comedy and crazy costumes and you know pertinent kind of nasty baddies um why do you think it is that leverage has re- resonated you know first in the original series and now with redemption so much with audiences i mean i think the kind of robin hood myth has always been a kind of winner um you know it's there's plenty of baddies in the world i mean we wouldn't have done a hundred and something episodes of it and they just keep coming as you know and i, I think that it makes people feel seen in a way that isn't um to you know it's tongue in cheek it doesn't take itself too seriously but it definitely like the the impression i get from our fans and we do like talk to the fans on on social media is that they feel seen by these storylines and that you can sit um in a room with your family members whether they're children or grandparents or you know whoever and you're not watching the news, but you are watching something that reflects the world that you're living in and maybe how you feel about um, people in power right now. And um, I think that's you know liberating for people. Mm, mm. Uh, it seems like it's a fun cast to work with also. Do you have a, a memory maybe behind the scenes of something uh, that happened during shooting this, this uh, season that you'll look back and remember 10 years from now? I mean, I think the, the the funny thing is that, you know, obviously what we do is very, very glamorous and exciting and, um, but, you know, it's a workplace like any other. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're, um, you know, this season, what did we do? Me and Christian and Noah had a WhatsApp group playing Wordle. You know, we would be sitting there going, I got it in three, I got it in five, I got it in four. And I think, you know, that that we're just like, um, everybody else and we all have our we all have our shorthands we've known each other so long and so you know I, I'll I know when Christian's you know favorite meal is in the is in the tent for catering lunch and so I'll I'll like knock on his trailer and say you know they have red velvet cake or you know whatever we have like we know each other so well we had this scene together in a food in the food truck and it was written that he was supposed to be in the back of the food truck. But he said, he was like, how about I'm under the counter, like bet- between your legs. And I just like pop, I pop things up through the, through the screen. And like, you know, he's great at physical comedy. And but we did this scene together where he had to jump off a container and land in front of me. And I was like in my own world. And we did like, we did like 10 takes of this thing. And then like after like the 10th take, I was like, did you really, did you jump from the top of that container? And he was like, well, you've only just noticed. I've done it like 10 <laughs> times. I've jumped in front of you 
on my knees, high impact, like from a really tall container and you only really noticed on the 10th take. Um, you know, we do, we do um, all have a very familiar way of kind of talking to each other. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's something, you know, you look forward to going to work and, and seeing people. Yeah, and, yeah. You get to work with a little known actor named Noah Wiley on the show. Did you have a, a favorite experience working with him on this season? You know, the thing about Noah is that he's he's great with props. He reminds me of an actor that I worked with on Coupling. I worked with um, Ben Miles, who we always used to call him the king of business because he could always, like, you know, he could have his pint glass and be buttoning up his coat and... Yeah, you know, he he always had stuff going on, and um and Noah is a sort of master um at that. So you know, I, I'm always and I'm hopeless at props. I mean, don't give me an umbrella because I I'll, I'll never I, I my arm suddenly won't work anymore. And so they all make fun of me. They just don't give Gina a prop, don't give her a phone, don't give her a bag and a coffee. She can only have the bag, not the coffee. Or don't give her sunglasses and a, 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 a and a and a bag. And so um, I do love watching Noah working with props because he's absolutely brilliant at it. Hey Gina, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. I enjoyed thank seeing you. you in season two and looking forward to seeing you the rest. You look a bit like has anyone ever said you look a bit like Noah? Oh no, but that, I'll take that as a, as a high compliment. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.